Yo, what is good dev guys? Welcome to part four of this video tutorial series. In the last video, we created a blueprint version of our pickup. We also created our first two blueprint nodes with the set is pickup, set pickup is active and the uh, git is active. But we want to extend the functionality of this pickup. And the way we're going to do that is by creating a child class of the C++ class that we created, which allows us to, to have a base class that has some very simple and basic functionality. And then our child class that has the more advanced and more particular functionality that we want. So what you would use this workflow for is say you had a character in your game and the base class had the the minor things like the movement all the base things that you would want every character to have but your your child class is the player character class and that's who you're going to play that's who the the, the actual controller is going to possess and that the player that is playing your game is going to use that they're going to use that player character but you have ai in your game and you want it to have basic functionality so you set the ai to to extend off of that character class that way you have the base functionality already written inside the character class and you can extend it to the ai class and not have to rewrite a, a bunch of logic over and over and over so i'm going to show you how to do that here and it's very simple we got our pickup base and then we can right click inside of here and add a new Unreal class and make sure you're in the public folder so that it adds the dot H here in the public and the dot uh, CPP in the private. So let's add another actor class and we're going to call this our battery pickup. And what we're going to do here is, an ex is instead of extending it from a actor, we'll extend it from our a pickup base which is here and in rider, what it does, it, it automatically includes the header that you need to include. But if you don't have rider, you need to go ahead and include the header to the pickup base, which all you got to do is travel here or travel to the CPP and see what, um, they are pointing to here and it's here. Plug public pickups, pickup base. But since these are in the same folder, you just need to hashtag include pickup.h, pickup base.h, since they're right here next to each other. Um, the functionality that we want here is we want to, to add physics so that when we spawn this out of the air, it kind of um, falls down with a simulation. So if you see if we if we bring this one into the level, and uh, let's bring it somewhere where we can see it. If we press play, you'll see it's just there in the air. It's like it. What is that mesh doing? You know what I mean? Like, what are you going to do? So in order for us to have some physics, we have to simulate physics. So in here in our child class, the battery pickup, we want to go to the .cpp file. And in the constructor, let's just set the uh, the pickup mesh, which is if you if you control click this in Rider, you'll see it takes us to the parent class. It's the the same uh, variable or component that we declared in the base class, but since we're in the child class, we can make a, a adjustments to it. So we can say dot set simulate physics. And then this takes in a, a Boolean and whether or not we want to simulate physics. So we just set it to true. So now this mesh, whenever it, uh, whenever the world starts, it'll simulate physics. So let's, um, let's first, let's go into our level control save, just to stop that bug from happening. And then let's, uh, rerun the editor.
And let's go ahead and uh, op reopen that blueprint class because now we want to change the parent class of this. So go to class settings and we can change. Oh, you could do two things here. You could create a new blueprint class that's based off of that new C++ class we just created or to save ourselves from redoing work. So, and since we didn't edit this mesh that much, let's just go ahead and create um, that change inside of here. So go to class settings and here you are able to adjust the parent class that this class extends from. You can add interfaces and that's more advanced C++ programming or more advanced Unreal C++ programming. You probably know about interfaces from Unity. Um, but yeah, so let's search for our battery pickup. It'll, it wouldn't, it didn't even give us a warning because I know we didn't make that many changes. So yeah, everything is still the same, but if you go here to, um, our pickup mesh, we need to, let me, uh, compile this and let's first delete this one out of the level and then go to our content browser and go to asset actions and reload and this will reload um, the base class so let's compile that and let's drag this into the level and see if the simulate physics works and instead of playing we could just run simulate and you can see that the simulate physics doesn't work uh, so Let's go ahead and uh, let's call this our base. And then let's create a new blueprint class and base it off of our uh, battery pickup. So this is BP underscore battery. And you see it doesn't have a static mesh. So let's uh, check it out. So now you can see that in here, the set simulate physics is set to true. I don't know why that changed in propagate when we changed the base class of the other static mesh component. Um, it might be an Unreal Engine 5 bug, but we're just gonna keep on pushing. So in here, for some reason now we can't set this um this static mesh's default value so let's make a change inside of the pickup base class and instead of changing this to visible anywhere let's change it to edit defaults only and uh i'm gonna stop I'm gonna go save real quick and then stop the editor and rerun it. All right, let's reopen that. And now we should be able to, let's open the full blueprint editor. And now we should be able to adjust that mesh set it to the battery. Okay. And now we're good. So now if we drag that mesh, the battery inside of the level, you'll see that's our, that's our base right here. And this is our new battery. And if we press simulate, you see this one will fall, but it'll fall through the world. And that's because it doesn't have uh, any collision on the actual mesh. Because you see inside of the collision settings, this is set to block all dynamic. But the actual mesh, if I browse to it, double click on it, we could just take a look at the uh, the collision settings. So if, if we look at a simple collision, it doesn't have one. Because if, if it had one, it'll show like a green box here. But now we can add our own collision to it, or you can do it inside of Blender by adding a um, a collision mesh 
to it, but that Unreal Engine handles collision pretty pretty well. So I just chose um, 18 depth of field, uh, which really um, it just adds 18 faces and tries to form itself around the collision as best as it can. And now if we save this and simulate again, you'll see it just drops and lands right here perfectly. So yeah, so that's pretty much all I want to show you guys in this video. So I'll see you in the next video. Peace.